we went inside the Toys R Us and set off like 80 fireworks. And there was like a whole search for us, bro. And we were like running. Good chat. So we're doing confessions tonight. All right. All right you know what? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just start. I'll start pulling people in. Welcome to the office, my friend. Oh, I'm first again. Uh... I didn't expect to get put in first. I didn't have a chance to think on this. I owe like $600 in debt to my grandma that I need to pay off and I'm working at a Kohl's. Why do you owe, I'll back up bro. Why do you owe $600 to your grandma? Well, I needed a suit for homecoming. I needed help paying on my car insurance. Okay. Uh. uh it's nice talking to you, dog. <laughs> alright, bro. Hey, what's up? How's it going, bro? It's going alright. How are you? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Just getting these confessions out. Alright. <laughs> you got anything? <laughs> Get him out of here! Get this, uh, this crime going. Alright. It's actually a legitimate crime. Mm -hmm. Um... I stole nine thousand dollars from. You stole nine thousand dollars from what? My mom's credit card. I spent nine k on it. What did you even buy? A car? Weed. 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 And a bunch of other shit. God damn! Over how long? Three months. She find out. The bank called her. <laughs> The bank called her. But my confession is how I stole a 90 inch TV from Walmart. A flat screen. You stole a 90 inch flat screen from Walmart? Me and my boy, we put on those reflective vests. Mm -hmm. And we walked with a dolly. We just walked out with that bitch. They thought that we were employees. Hello? Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> yep. Welcome to the office, bro. Yo, this is wild. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not watching the stream. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I so one time at work, bro, so I'm I was not gonna stuck lie. back in a shelf, <laughs> bro, the stream. and I I dropped a crate, and after I dropped the crate, there was this old lady who was coming down the aisle. And she slipped on one of the fucking cans of like chicken noodle soup or some shit and busted her ass on the floor. <laughs> and when my manager came up and asked me what happened, I told them I didn't know. I, I was just stocking the shelves. <laughs> and they fucking, they had pulled me aside with the old lady a different day and they showed me the camera. <laughs> I got fired on the spot. Damn, they fired you. Did she like break anything? Or she just ate shit? Nah, nah, she just ate shit. Fuck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the office. Uh oh, am I in the principal's office? Yes, sir. You gotta confess to some shit, boy. I got an idea. Yo, I so, don't have a problem with Burger King. One of my friends. Had a girlfriend, right? Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, we both liked this bitch, but he ain't know I liked this bitch for real. So what I did was low key sabotage both of us, so neither of us could have this bitch. <laughs> How, bro? So basically, I would just like I would just make her think we're both fucking weird, like, cause like it it'd be fucked up if I could have her and he couldn't, right? Mm -hmm. So I was just like, well, let's just fuck it up for both of us. Let's make both of us look weird as shit. So we don't, we both don't have a chance. So sometimes she would like, she would come into like our homeroom back in high school and she'd be talking to him and I'd just come up to him and bring up some absolutely off the wall shit and just make up some shit. Like we hung out the other day and be like, yo, remember when we hung out the other day and we both smacked that dude's ass that fucking pulled his pants down in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or like you remember when we saw that guy's dick in the movie theater and he was and he was like super hard and not and like just weird shit anything i could do to make her think we were both weird as fuck and wanted nothing to do with us and eventually she 
she just didn't talk to us no more. It was just she didn't want nothing to do with us. God damn, bro! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. How's it going, bro? Welcome to the office. Oh, I cannot hear. Hold on. How you doing? I'm chilling, bro. That's cool. So uh, you got a confession, bro? What? I'm at you said you said you were doing confessions or something. Yeah, bro. I... <laughs> <laughs> y'all y'all are doing confessions like i'm like oh we were yeah. shit my fuck like, i'm dumb all right so do you know what a raspberry pi pico is by any chance i do not let me let me look it up real quick for the stream so a raspberry pi pico is a microcontroller that you flash onto with a special software you flash on what you want it to do so nichrome is what is the coils in the vape. So I took Nichrome from my vape, got a couple batteries, attached that to the Pico, attached the Nichrome to the Pico, so that it would heat up at a in a certain time. Uh-huh. Alright. My friend had smoke bombs. Yeah. I put the fuse into the Nichrome. Now all of these were were going to go off at twelve forty eight. He sounds like the watch Mojo Lady's son is disrespectful as fuck. So I put them all in my school. They're in every bathroom. A couple are actually in the lunchroom. They all go off. No one has no clue who did it to this day. Wait, so you made vape bombs? No, no, no. So I put smoke bombs. You know those little things you set off on 4th of July? Uh-huh. Like the multicolored blue smoke or whatever? So you smoke bombed your school? Yes. What the fuck? Did you get expelled? No, no one knows I did it to this day. No one knows who did it. What? Okay, so two things. But they ain't really that big, but to me they is. So when I back in elementary school, I uh over the course of fifth grade, I charged my school four hundred dollars on iCloud. How? So I would I like when I was walking around, I went into an office that I wasn't supposed to, and on a whiteboard they had like the school account, like the Apple accounts, because we had iPads there. They had the password written on a whiteboard, so I just memorized it and then went back to class. And then I just hopped on the goddamn app store because it was restricted. It was handled by the school district. But if you had a password, you could do whatever. So then I just started downloading damn near every single game on that bitch. And over the course of like four months, they like never understood. And they would change the password too, but it'd still be on that damn whiteboard. No, so I just copy that shit down and then just keep downloading shit. And then like, they finally realized and then took it off the board and then I was screwed. But they never found out it was me either. Damn. Bro, that's a W yeah, crime. Not I'm not even gonna lie, that's a W crime. That's a 200 IQ play. The second thing I did was uh, when I was 16, I stole $1,000 from Target and quit. <sighs> in the same day. From the registers? Yeah, literally. I was like cashier and I was like, you know what? This job ain't fucking worth it. So then I took a thousand dollars, like not a thousand. I took like somewhere around three hundred fifty from one, which is like the entire register, then somewhere around like four fifty from the other, and then whatever else math there was, I stole the rest of it from a different one. And then I just quit. And then they hit me up like four days later, they were like, Hey, we know you stole. But also, like, the way their policy changed, like, it had changed recently at the time. So not only could they not press charges on me, but they also couldn't charge me for reimbursement. So I just kept a thousand dollars. Yo. Hey, you hear me? Yeah, bro. First off, off rip, bro. That name is crazy. That profile picture is crazy. Hey, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey. Don't even worry about that, dog. So I have a few confessions, all right? So okay. about a year ago, right? I got sent to a mental hospital for a side attempt, right? Mm-hmm. 
I was in the hospital and there was this dude having like a schizophrenic attack. Yeah. I convinced him that the guards were fucking aliens and they were going to kill him. And he ended up swinging on them and got a shot put in his arm to knock out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, babe, I'm sorry. I'm too loud. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm on my girlfriend. She's yelling at me bro, for being loud. Chat. Guilty? Um, you fucking guilty. And another thing. So there was an abandoned, like, Toys R Us near me at, like, a, a couple years ago, right? Mm-hmm. It was completely run down, so my friend had fireworks. Yep. <laughs> we went inside the Toys R Us and set off like 80 fireworks. And there was like a whole search for us, bro. And we were like running and we went to this place called Waterworks Water Parks. I can give you the exact location, actually. It's right off of Dale Boulevard in Woodbridge, Virginia. We were hiding. Snitching! Self-snitching! We were hiding in the fucking woods, so we were smoking a blunt. And we never got caught. What the fuck? Alright, bro. I love you, daddy. Um, <laughs> bro, have a good night. Trying to smoke a, a joint out of your asshole with me. Have a good night, bro.